All right, so I'm back with an example of why it's so important to be able to figure out unit rates. So this is a true story. The numbers are a little bit changed, but um, this actually happened to me yesterday. I went to the grocery store to buy cereal. My favorite cereal is Honey Bunches of Oats with Almonds, and um, there were two sizes. And being the cost-conscious shopper that I am, I wanted to get the best deal. So the regular size was 2.84 BDs, and the larger size was 4.02 BDs. Now this, this was a little bit bigger, and it said value size on it, so I thought, well, surely it's a value size, but maybe not, maybe it's not a value size. I wanted to make sure. So being the smart person that I am, I got my calculator out, and um, figured out the unit rate for each of these boxes because I wanted to get the most cereal for my BD. So this uh, the smaller box was 454 grams. So the ratio for this first one is 2.84 BDs per 454 grams. And then the second one was 682 grams and 4.02 BDs. And you can see the ratio here. I want to know how many BDs, or how many, yeah, how many BDs I'm spending to get one gram. So again, I want the denominator to be one, just a division problem. So on my calculator, 2.84 divided by 454 is 0 .0063 BDs per gram. That's great, I don't know what that means, but it doesn't matter until I compare it to something and it's gonna give it more context. So with the value size, which we weren't sure if it was value at this point, I did the division problem, 4.02 divided by 682, and I got 0 0.0059 BDs per gram. So here I'm paying 0 0.0059 BDs, and here I'm paying 0 0.0063 BDs. Which is the better deal? Well, clearly, this is the value size. So because I was able to quickly figure out my unit rate, I saved a little bit of money. Always a good idea, right?